special thanks this year for having us here to kick off the, the deal room. Um, I am delighted to um, present um, the legacy program for Sierra Leone. Um, Agricultural Investment Opportunities under the Feed Salon Program, which are investments. Um, we've, we've outlawed the investments that will present the opportunities here along the five objectives that pose the Feed Salon really. Import substitution, increasing exports, job creation, alleviating hunger and poverty, building uh, resilience in, um, uh, climate, in, in the face of climate change. We've marked all of that um, value chain opportunities, um, all of those. Uh, across according to these uh, objectives and you will see that the opportunities we're presenting here today uh, we've got four um, challenges that I want to share I'll do a deep dive on the right one and at this point I do want to thank uh, Dr. Agnes Kalibata and, and our team um, especially Paul and Davis who have been, they've been to Jakarta three weeks doing the grunt work for these value chains, starting to value chain actors, from farmers to traders, getting these numbers, presenting these business cases, um, making them real and alive with data to back them. So we have these available and we can make them available to you in each of those. So real quickly, um, I will do, I will touch very quickly on cassava, cocoa and poultry and we'll keep diving in, in rice, which is the latest program the president wants to talk about that number. It, competitiveness has to do with encouraging small farmers, investors, to invest in the sector. But they can't do it if the rice that they produce in Sierra Leone is more expensive than imported rice. That's what we need to do. And we think there are three levels we can pull to be competitive. There is the agronomy part of it. We can use the best seeds, best technology, increase our yield, jump it from 1.7 to maybe 8, 9, 10 metric tons depending on who is having seeds. We will do that. There's also policies. There's creating the right environment, the right set of policies, trade, working on regional bodies to ensure our trade policies help with our competitiveness. But we think, and this is the core of what we're presenting here, that that critical infrastructure, roads, energy, irrigation, it's the next thing that is going to really push um, rise productivity for us, the competitiveness to that level where it becomes profitable. And that's where the gap is, and that's what we're presenting as a core of uh, the investment here today.